This is the grade 7 practice test for math for TN Ready. Question number 12 on this version. We are in a calculator allowed section. You can see that the page above has this picture of the calculator. I'm not actually going to use a calculator on this one, but you absolutely can. Don't feel like you can't do it. I mean, it's not that complicated, but I'm not going to here. Question number 12 asks me to select all of the expressions that are equivalent to 2 thirds times the quantity 9 x plus 6 minus 1 half times the quantity 8x minus 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a little simplification work. I'm going to distribute this out. So what does that look like? These would be over 1 because any whole number is as a fraction is itself over 1. So I'd do 2 thirds times 9 over 1. Now the easy move here is not to do 2 times 9 gives you 18, and then 3 times 1 gives you 3, and you reduce this to 6. That's fine and dandy, but it's not really what I would do. What I would do, and maybe you need to do it that way, and it's fine. What I would do is say, okay, so I have this in the numerator and this in the denominator, like this. So I would just cancel out this way because there's a 9 up here and a 3, and I know 3 times 3 is 9, so I just make this a 1. Uh-oh, my pen's leaking again. And then I would make this a 3, and then I'd do 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 over 1 is 6. So the first step out into this new brave world would be 6x. For my next section... I would do two-thirds times 6 over 1. And again, you could do 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 3 is 4, or you cancel out here if you want. There's really no particular way or I mean, don't feel bad if you have to use one method over the other. It doesn't make you any less smart. It's just some people see things different ways. That's fine. As long as you get to the right destination, math is pretty lenient about that sort of thing. And then I need to do minus, and here in some ways is kind of a total jerk move. By setting this whole sequence as negative, or as minus, it's sort of separating this out. So you're going to have to adjust for those things. But here is the move that I would do if I were you. That sort of rhymed. It wasn't supposed to. I'm sorry. Even I don't feel good about it. If it's me, I'm going to take negative one-half and then times 8. And again, that's 8 over 1. 8 times 1 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. And it's, since it's negative 1 times 8, it's negative 8 over 2 or negative 4. That way, it tells me what sign to put here. I put, mo I put the negative sign or the minus sign there, but that wasn't really... A smart move on my part because it could have ended up being plus because I made this slight modification. I don't like having minus negative. I never have. So that would be 4x. Now coming back around. By the way, much like this, I'm just distributing out. So I did this. Now I'm going to do this. Negative 1 half times negative 4 over 1. Because again, over 1. Over 1. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. 2 times 1 is 2, and that gives me plus 2. Since this has the plus already there, I don't have to think in my head, oh, what do I need to do with this? It's just addition. Easy as can be. Now I can combine things the way that I want them. If you didn't do it this way and didn't make that adjustment like I did, that's totally fine. You would just end up with negative 4x there, but then you would have this being negative 2, and you'd have to remember it's minus negative 2 and change it to plus. Just apply this minus sign as a negative on the 1 half when you do your multiplication, and it gets rid of that problem altogether. It just cleans it up nicely. I just need to combine like terms now. 6x minus 4x is 2x. 
positive 4 plus 2 is plus 6. So that is one of my answer choices. And I'm done, right? No, of course not. Everything has to slowly drain joy out of your life when you're taking these tests, so there are more. I need to look to see if there are any other equivalents. Well, 2 times the quantity x plus 1 would be 2x plus 2. That is not the same thing as this. This is useless. 2x plus 2, we just said was not right. This one, however, positive 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. So this is also an answer choice, and this is a big mess that we don't need. So PS, not the post-signature thing. You might want to make a note to which two that you need to pick, so when you go over to your final answer sheet, you can have it there, but that is the answer to number 12. Now, you're totally welcome to cut that off and be done with it. I'm just going to show you one other thing, just in case you're ever thinking about it. If you look at the values in the denominators of the terms, you can go ahead and make adjustments very quickly. We know that this being a denominator means you're, it can work in the same way that a division does, right? So instead of doing 2 thirds times 9x, what you might do is 9 divided by 3 is 3, make this 3x, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so you change this to this, then you just have that 2 there. So I'm just getting rid of this. Same thing here, 8 divided by 2 is 4, And then negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And this just becomes negative 1. And then it becomes a much easier... Just remember this is negative 1 times 4. If you need to make a circle or something, do that. Or sometimes you can underline it. Whatever you need to see it. Negative 4x and then negative times negative is positive 2. That's where it'll burn you, by the way. You forget that final negative. Then it'll get you to the... 2x plus 6 and all the stuff that we talked about. Just an option there. I just want to show you that in case it might help speed up some stuff for you and make it easier to get to that final answer.